Hello guys, I am Nicholas Ispadi from beginner to pro dot in. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to design a um, drop down menu or a, a auto complete text view, which is known as the suggestion bar or search bar. Okay, when you will type any name, it will show the suggestions of the list you have added and a drop down menu also okay uh, that is called as a spinner okay a drop down for, uh, for all of the name of your friends or food items so let's begin with creating the project naming it as beginner to grow <coughs> this tutorial also I'm going to use both of this in a place okay I'll show you the area where uh, you need to concentrate I mean in which you are going to use two adapters okay if you are not using the two adapters then while if you are searching for a letter say B okay if you are searching for a letter B and you have selected that particular name then the arrays will be uh, refined as per the suggestion box means in this drop down menu only the name starting with B will display not all the products okay that's why I'm going to show you using two adapters to avoid those problems if you are using two uh, at a at one place okay so Let's <coughs> begin with designing it. Okay. This <coughs> auto complete text view, okay, which is uh, the uh, suggestion box or uh, search bar, also, you can say it. ID suggestion box okay and it is wrap content <coughs> content okay Okay, same problem I did is wrap content. Okay, and this will appear below that suggestion box. ID as items okay so now I'm going to code <coughs> for it so let's create to object or to complete text view uh, suggestion box okay and in the spinner Items suggestion box equals to suggestion box for items also. Okay. 
Okay. So, <coughs> oh sorry, it is spin there. Yeah. So now it's okay. Now I'm going to define a. Uh, Okay, now I'm going to define an array which will store uh, the names of food items. Okay, so array list, array list. Okay, now the data type is string. Okay, I'm going to use uh, it for the uh, entering the names of the foods. That is, uh, that's why I'm using string. Okay, foods. You array list so I have completed defining the item uh, food foods that is the error so I'm gonna add foods dot add okay apple apple Okay, let's say it is Canada. So I have finished defining, uh, <coughs> sorry not defining, I have finished adding the uh, these uh, foods to the uh, array list, okay. So in the foods array, these items are stored. Now I am going to define two adapters, okay. If I am not defining two adapters, then if you are using suggestion box and you have typed for G, it will show for guava, okay. Uh, one thing I forgot. Give it a minimum threshold. Okay. Sorry. <coughs> completion threshold. Okay. Completion threshold is one. Okay. Because on typing a single name or a single letter, not a name, single letter or alphabet it starts searching for that item that's why i have used that completion threshold is one okay so uh, entering a single alphabet it will start searching otherwise it will wait for two to three alphabets to start searching okay so now i'm going to uh, define two adapters otherwise the problem will be if i'm refining the search in the suggestion box and uh, it got refined uh, let's say starting with the name G okay after click on the guava all the names similar to guava or let's say G it it will only display those names in spinner also but I want to display all the food items in the spinner and uh, a suggestion box which will search for the item that's why I'm using two array adapter okay <coughs> this is also sorry of string type so let's say adapter <coughs> new array adapter okay that is the activity dot this Android dot R dot layout dot simple spinner drop down item okay 
comma the name of the array that is foods so now my adapter is ready ok simple spinner drop down item will create a drop down menu drop down item list and in those list the refined uh, uh, names are being shown ok then again uh, defining uh, another array adapter let's say it adapter 1 ok so both this adapter are now defined now I am going to set these adapters to those uh, suggestion box and list that's why suggestion box dot set adapter <coughs> adapter now the uh, values that are stored in the array list are now copied to the suggestion box or that autocomplete text view ok now the data is being loaded to the suggestion box and uh, another one is the item start set adapter adapter 1 ok two adapters so now uh, we can continue with that so let me connect my device and show you okay after this first time compilation I will also show you by setting one adapter to both of those okay then you will probably uh, you will probably get to know what uh, the problem will occur okay sorry Connection fail. Just a minute. Why this happen? Okay. Just a minute. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Now it's connected. So let's begin with the compilation. Uh, my uh, next compilation I will show you uh, setting the adapter to uh, these two and you will get to know uh, what uh, the difference it will make <coughs> it will take a, uh, two to three minutes for compilation because my system is a bit slower <coughs> Yep, so that is finished. Install it. Yep, see here. Um, it got stuck. Sorry. Uh, yeah, here the list of all the items. Oh, portable. Okay, so let here search for Z. Wow, grapes. Okay, on pressing only one alphabet, it started searching. W for watermelon, A for apple, and apples. Okay, so uh, yes, I want to show you right here. You want here all the items are present after typing almonds. Okay. Now just watch what will what gonna happen if I'm doing this adapter. 
and this uh, here you will know what is the difference because uh, most of the video tutorial ah uh, yep so here you got all the names okay now I'm searching for G only guava okay watch here the alphabet starting with G only are shown no other items after when I will clear this whole then it will show all the item because the items are being refined okay so I hope you guys understood please comment below in the beginner to pro dot in and yep you will get my code at the beginner to pro dot in thank you guys have a nice day